So you do a lot of bone grafting uh, in your practice. So what's, what's the process? So the process is very easy. Um, dental implant, they like bone. They want to be integrated into the bone. Now, uh, some patients have gone to di different offices and they've been told that they need bone. They need lots of bone. So what they do, they come in for second opinion. Now, in many, like I said, in many offices, maybe that's because they're not used to do as many dental implants. That's what they told the patient that they need bone. But in my office, a lot of patients already have bone. Now, of course, if they don't have enough bone, we do a whole bone grafting. And that goes with putting bone wherever the implant needs to be integrated and waiting about a few months. Is it months. synthetic bone or what? It is, yeah, it's, it's synthetic you bone. You just kind of shoot it into the area? Correct, it's just very easy. You just shoot it into, into the bone and close it up. The patient goes about a few months because we want that bone to kind of get denser and it turns over and becomes their bone. Okay. Because that's what patients ask me, they're like, what about rejection and what about an antibiotic or this and that? And I'm like, the worst thing that can happen when you do bone grafting is the bone didn't integrate and it's gone. Okay. It's just like you came in, it's done. But most of the time with bone, it, as long as the procedure is done again in the right hands, the bone will grow and it turns over and becomes your bone and then we can process and put implants in those bone. Okay. Sides.